Engineering Design and Development is the pinnacle technology course for seniors, in which students design, build, and test a solution, and have a real-life engineering experience. This year, we did this by competing in the first Tech Challenge Robotics competition. Before we began building anything whatsoever, we had to brainstorm possible ideas that could be implemented into a future robot. To truly brainstorm, we had to accept any and all ideas, no matter how ridiculous. And all ideas were organized so the whole class could view and review them. Not only did we think of ideas off the top of our heads, but we also researched patents to see if any of those ideas would be useful to us. So many varying patents were considered, such as fruit harvesters, freight elevators, and even an apparatus for a sea lion. Despite them being seemingly unrelated, many patents were the basis of our designs. Uh, searching patents is really important because you get the opportunity to learn and build on the work that, uh, that was done by other people. Um, many times you'll find ideas that will help you to solve your particular problem and searching the patent is how you uncover those ideas. After brainstorming individual ideas, it was finally time to think up entire robot designs. Each member of the class conceptualized three designs, and these designs were rated by the team based on effectiveness for each subsystem. To do this, we used the decision matrix on a Microsoft Excel to see which designs were best rated by the class. We could now begin actually building some of these ideas that we came up with, and we tried several unique ideas. Some ideas succeeded and we continued to use, and others failed because they couldn't perform their tasks effectively. <laughs> December 10th at Pace University, we met with other teams just like us and saw how our robot compared with our competition. We obviously didn't perform amazingly, yet it was a great learning experience for all of us. Well, we learned a lot of things actually. We learned that we needed to design our robot not based off the old model, but actually for this competition in particular. Our chassis was too small and it couldn't support the weight, and plus a bunch of the racquetballs got underneath the chassis and weren't really able to move. But really we needed to uh, design our whole robot over again and just change our strategy for the game. We weren't going to be able to score any points with our design that we had originally and we needed to focus on the better ways to score points rather than just what we thought of in the first place. After seeing what worked and what didn't work at the scrimmage and seeing the techniques in other teams, we started the whole process from scratch and completely redesigned our robot, all leading up to the January 29th day of the final tournament. So now that that's all over, what do we do now? We've already met with middle school students, and we hope to influence more young kids to pursue technology. And we all walked away from a great experience of hard work, sportsmanship, and camaraderie.